Tonight, join us for a trip to the Chinese tea house with novel design and food. Come spoil yourself with these fashion doll colors. Find out what's important when it comes to choosing a vintage timepiece. And take a peek at these elegant jewelry collections all the way from Italy. Welcome to Dolce Vita. You have to choose an item that represents China, it'd be tea. It's been an important Chinese export item for over a thousand years now, and it's still around us every day. Think about it, we go to those yum top places a few times a week, and now it's used in contemporary Chinese cuisine, and I can't wait to try it. Vanessa, this place is really relaxing. It's nothing like the traditional Chinese tea house. Exactly. It has the traditions of a tea house as a social gathering place. Yet its design is innovative and also cutting edge. It's a nice place to relax, chat, have a cup of tea. The history of tea in China is long and complex. In the past, the nobility considered the consumption of good tea as a mark of their status. But nowadays, people simply enjoy its flavor. The Chinese believe that drinking tea cultivates positive virtues. You know, the Chinese believe that tea has medicinal qualities. It also aids in digestion, which is why the Chinese like to drink it after a meal. Yes, I know that, but with all the choices here, I don't know which one has what therapeutic value. I think I know a thing or two, so let me give you a hand. This place carries over 30 types of tea leaves, which are directly shipped from Beijing. The house special is Cloudy Flower Mood, which helps regulate the heart and liver channels. Rose jasmine makes the chi flow and invigorates the blood. And the Mao Feng tea tastes sweet with the fresh floral fragrance. Long Jing smells light and pure. The real flavor is in the harmony. As the ancient Taoist says, the real taste is no taste at all. Apart from being a refreshing and healthy beverage, tea is now widely used in the culinary scene as a very versatile and interesting ingredient. It's used as a spice, oils, tenderizers, marinades, and also in desserts, too. Yes, tea is multi-purpose. You can even blend it in alcoholic beverages. If you're a tea lover who's always looking for different flavors and fresh ideas, these tea-infused drinks and cocktails are the must-haves. After all, you can't have the homemade green tea champagne or green tea martini in a handcrafted ceramic cup anywhere else. Apart from the drinks, the artful decor here can also help rejuvenate your senses and soothe your spirit. Cooking with tea is as old as the history of tea itself. Tea is a wonderful ingredient because many of the essential vitamins and antioxidants can be preserved during the cooking process. Plus, dried tea leaves can add crunchiness and an extra special taste to the already fabulous dish. Since the owner of this tea house is an artist herself, the chef here has created an area of traditional Chinese cuisine with a lot of nice and artistic surprises. Just take a look at the salmon filet. What a whimsical presentation. Doesn't it look like an art piece? And have you noticed the name of the dishes is red like poultry? With such charming names as wasabi, prawns dance, a mystery salsa, and autumn sky roasted lamb, who isn't enticed by the creativity? Many chefs always say, cook with the wine that you'd actually drink. The same goes with tea. Find the one that best suits your taste. Here I've got oolong lamb. It's actually really good. Try it out. I can't wait to try. Let's dig in. Ah, just in time for my sweet tooth. Homemade green tea ice cream. If you're looking for a contemporary Chinese tea house with a unique sense of culinary vision, this place could be a consideration. Someone asked me what makes Sharp look sharp. I'd say the same old formula. Great skin with nice makeup, keep up with the latest trend, smile with tremendous confidence. Now let's get dolled up. For many young ladies out there, fashion dolls were just something they used to play with as little girls. It was probably their first experience to fashion and beauty. Today, some top models will reveal to us a hip new living doll look, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Lights, cameras, and living dolls. This fashion-themed doll has partnered with the creme de la creme of fashion designers over the years. 
and she has finally teamed up with one of the world's leading cosmetic brands to shape the style trend once again. Combining imaginative ideas with creative cosmetics expertise, this collection is uniquely fresh with exciting colors that are bold, modern, and most of all, fun. Fashion dolls have always been the forefront of style and beauty, with many top designers fine to design their newest looks. Ladies, take a look at these new shades, because these are the kind of shades that super icons wear. Move into the season with a totally new look with these bubblegum colors. This new makeup line consists of various shades of eyeshadows, brushes, eyeliners, as well as lipsticks. And with this cute little icon embossed onto these products, who can resist? Fashion dolls aren't only about being sweet, they can also be hip and fashionable with a smart style. So, whether it's on the eyes, cheeks, lips or face, it's all about looking your very best and making your childhood dreams come true. I've never tried the Barbie doll look before, but I have tried a doll look before. I mean, a lot of people tend to dress me up like a doll and actually being a model, you kind of feel like a Barbie doll. Makeup is all about being glamorous and having fun. So why don't you come and indulge yourself in these fabulous bright colors and rediscover the inner girl inside you. The sweet idea is especially created for all you living dolls. So why not transform yourself into one of the most recognizable faces in the world? Bye Barbie. <laughs> Precision matters in artworks. But if you think about Broadway musicals, it takes them years to rehearse before getting on the real stage. So it makes me wonder how much time it takes them to make a comedy hit. Oftentimes, you just have to get the jokes right. Appearances differ, but in a world full of fashion-conscious people, it's not easy to survive as an ugly duckling. How much determination and sincerity does it take to earn other people's respect? The American comedy Ugly Betty has just arrived Hong Kong. Before we find out more about Betty, let's find out what prettiness means to most people. The 2007 Golden Globe winning series Ugly Betty is now on air on TVB Pearl. To celebrate the launching of show, TVB has held an Ugly Betty performance contest to promote the series recently. A big highlight of the event was that Angela Tong appeared in her Betty costume wearing a colorful outfit. We've also got the chance to talk to the Hong Kong Betty who shared her views on prettiness. Hello Betty. Hi Ria. So what do you appreciate most about yourself? I appreciate the most about myself is I think it's my confidence. My upbringing has given me the confidence enough to dress the way I want to dress mm -hmm. and do what I want to do mm -hmm. and um, just, you know, be happy about everything. Right. Well, I think you're beautiful. Thank you. How would you define prettiness? Prettiness? Well, I think you're very beautiful. Aww. I think I'm very beautiful. I think actually everyone is, if, as long as they have a good heart and they appreciate all the things they have in life. Mm. Gotcha. Happy Halloween! Betty is smart, sweet, and hardworking. The only problem is that she's not skinny and conventionally beautiful like all her co-workers at the high fashion magazine where she works. The only reason the publisher hired her to be his son's secretary is that he thought Betty was someone who Daniel would never have affairs with. With Betty's determination to secede, she gained much respect later from everybody in her workplace. If you're interested in how a contemporary version of an ugly duckling transforms to a beautiful, loving swan, stay tuned every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. on Pearl. And now let's watch some of the funniest moments Betty has faced. Tired of sticking your finger down your throat? Want to lose weight the easy way? Ask me how. Herbalux can help. Oh, there you are. Betty, I've got something for you. This one's nice and dry. To Betty, a girl like no other, <laughs> loves Sophia. Wow, that's so nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, I need a little favor. Intelligent. Intelligent, confident businesswoman.
coming up. Allow these head-turning dazzlers to astonish you. Plus, if you're a fan of classic watches, you can't miss this. While the Italians are renowned for their infinite creativity and excellent artistry, it's not surprising that Italy is the origin of many art-type businesses. But the one question we ask ourselves is, what will they come up with next at the beginning of each season during 2007? Italy has always been regarded as the heart of jewelry making since centuries ago. Even modern jewelry designers from all over the world seek inspirations from Italy jewelry design approaches. And in many of the works by classical Italian jewelry designers, we see traces of Egyptian, Greek, and even Asian culture. Italian designers have always been one of the few groups of people who have creatively come up with ideas for gold jewelry. Before, it was always what we wore for formal occasions, but nowadays it's an alternative compared to heavy-duty bling. The metal gold is one of the most captivating elements in jewelry making. Italians have always had the quest for variance in jewelry designs, and this quest has been painstakingly pushing human boundaries to make even finer gold jewelry that we see nowadays. Each piece in this hand-woven gold collection is created by weaving the silk-like golden threads on antique looms. This is no small task since each thread is even thinner than human hair, with diameter of less than 4 hundredth of a millimeter. The technique is one of the biggest innovations in the jewelry making industry, while no place else is able to create the products at the same level of delicacy. This necklace here has been made of three different types of gold. Each piece has been skillfully hammered to 1.8 millimeters. It looks spectacular. Gold has a natural malleability that allows it to be readily made into thin sheets and can be skillfully worked into a great variety of body ornaments. One way of hammering gold chain is to wrap a layer of gold sheet around a base metal rod. The tube is drawn through dies to the desired thickness and then hand hammered, twisted and coiled to create the shape of link needed for the chain. After the links are joined into a chain, it is hand hammered, pulled and twisted to achieve the perfect feel. Another unique fabrication method in gold jewelry making is knitting, which often means gold wires knitted over a metal frame of different shapes. Knitted gold adds a touch of audacity to almost all kinds of ornaments. Italian designers have delivered the change and usage of different unique materials. But in the coming year, coral is definitely what's going to be in. The Italians see red coral as one of the most precious materials in jewelry making. Some even say J to the Chinese is like red coral to the Italians. Red coral has been used as a sacred addition to many combinations of precious stones by many throughout the human history. It has been used by Egyptians, the Tibetans, the Ottomans, and the American Indians, most commonly as a supplement to turquoise in jewelry. The premier coral on the market is oxblood red coral, harvested in the deep waters of the Mediterranean. Coral beads of 50 mm diameter can run up to 50,000 US dollars retail at the high end, while some capuchon rings are priced less at around 80 US dollars. Gold has always been the most highly used metal in Italy designer jewelry, respecting the fact that the human body, mind and spirit has a strong innate connection to gold, more than any other metal. That's why in all these years, the Italian have been seeking new ways to create jewelry art pieces out of this precious metal. On the other hand, while coral is some living structures that are to harvest in ocean, the Italians still have their magical power to turn them into one of the most fabulous jewelry items in the world. It totally proves that they've always got the very talent to transform ordinary things into fantastic designs.
Italian designer jewelry today continues to make fashion history with designs in bold and delicate gold, as well as oversized and trendy red coral jewelry. When you're ready to adorn your body with something beautiful, take advantage of the rich history of Italian designer jewelry to satisfy your every desire. Italian designers have earned our praise right from the beginning of jewelry history. Their balance between traditional ideas and novel concepts are definitely worth our recognition. The most accurate clock was claimed to be invented in Switzerland. They say if you go back and look at the atomic clock 30 million years later, it would not have deviated by more than a second. Well, I don't know too much about the practical aspects of owning a precise clock or watch, but I do know that there are fabulous collectibles to many people. <laughs> An exciting watch exhibition has now made its way to Hong Kong. Organized by one of the premier auction houses, we are lucky enough to see some of the finest watches, basically before they go to Geneva in April, for the thematic auction. The collections of watches are being taken around the world to promote a thematic sale of rare, collectible and historic timepieces. The tour has already hit Milan and New York, Los Angeles, Shanghai, Tokyo, and next heads to Dubai, London, and Paris so that watch lovers can start saving their money for big bids in April. During the opening ceremony of the exhibition, models were invited to walk around the stage to give the watches the best exposure. Ovado Petruzzi, the CEO of a renowned auction house, was also invited to join the event this time, and we're fortunate enough to have him share some of his views on collectible watches. Osvaldo, thank you very much for sharing your time and actually giving us some time to have this interview. I understand that you're very knowledgeable and you specialize in this industry and field. To you, what makes a vintage watch a vintage watch or a collectible item? What is the vintage watches is uh, suppose uh, each watch go vintage if it resists at the time. But to work on collector is uh, just uh, the quality, just uh, the design, and design is uh, the best expression of the 20th century. And, um, and uh, all together make, uh, make something very interesting for uh, a very exclusive. What is it important? Uh, who collect the watches want to have something exclusive for himself. I understand that that was your personal view, but then on a broader scale, what would other people think a vintage watch would be, or what to them is a collectible item? The people have to collect first, they have to be passionate about, uh, about watches, about mechanics. And the watch represents one of the best examples of the mechanic today. And what makes the watches uh, so collectible is uh, because uh, the watches is, uh, what you said before, is uh, the, the of concentration, concentration of, uh, of uh, human capacity. Mm. And uh, what, I like, uh, what I like in watches is uh, just uh, this capacity to fascinating, to come with us uh, in anywhere, any part. You know, uh, a recent collector tell me, uh, I have I collect watches and I collect car. I have a nice Ferrari, but when I go to the restaurant, I give the, I put the Ferrari in the garage. I, have, yeah. I go with my watch, yeah. <laughs> and is something for me very important because explain how the watch come with us, accompany our life. Pocket watches are definitely one of the spotlights in the exhibition. They include the Railway Watches Collection, which is designed to cope with the huge magnetic fields generated by big engines, such as those in locomotives and in power stations. The anti-magnetic watches are able to resist a five times bigger magnetic field than other ordinary watches. Another highlight in this collection is his NML hunting case, keyless pocket watch with a portrait of an Ethiopian emperor. Aside from the pocket watches, wristwatches are expected to draw much attention from the collectors. That includes many examples of automatic, quads, and chronograph wristwatches of different editions.
The sale this time also includes a limited edition box set, which was produced only for 40 badges. Each of the watch inside the box represents a particular mission to the space. The full collection was first launched in 1957. The series have been very popular among space and astronaut lovers. Representative watches worth mentioning is the one worn by Daniel Craig in the latest Bond film, as well as the one for Pierce Brosnan in another blockbuster hit. And Kevin Rollinghagen, who's the vice president of the brand involved in this exhibition, has given us some hints on the popularity of the watches. Well, I understand that there are a number of watches. Mm. Which piece do you think will be the most popular or will be the most attracting one? I think that you'll see a big, big interest in the Speedmaster collection and probably especially the Mir watch, which was actually in space for a year. It was, it was on the Russian Mir spacecraft mm. for one year and that set a record at that time as the longest time that any watch had been in outer space. To many true collectors, these watches are like their love at first sight. The thematic auction holding in April will definitely be a heated one. That's all we have time for tonight. We hope you've enjoyed our show. For more information on the fantastic items in this episode, please check out our website. For more on where to shop, where to eat, and how to lift out your Vita, join us again next week. Bye!